Hey guys, how's it going? This video is going to be on the tips for Halloween Haunt Week 3. And it's definitely the most challenging of the weeks we've done so far. So most have guessed right, it's going to get progressively harder every week. So let's move on to the tips. First tip is to use a clearly tagged point multiplying head on, or armor. The ones that are currently available to get 4 times the points are Headless Baron Armor and the Shadow Hunter Head. These are the best to use. If you have them, use it because it will reward you with 20 points per person. That means per kill you get 20 points. Last two are Warlock and Zombie Head. These give 2 times the points, so it basically gives you 10 points for each kill. If you have none of these, you will need some luck. Not because it's hard, but it's time consuming. I finished the first two tiers without uh, anything because I didn't know that these items boosted points. I also did the calculations for all of this and it turns out the total amount of points you need for all the tiers combined is 9100 points. This might seem like a big number but, well it is a big number. For everyone with that point boosting item, it's a total of 1820 whopping kills. For 2 times multiplier with either warlock or zombie head, it's 910 kills. And finally, 4 times the multiplier, it's 455 kills. Yeah, these are some big numbers. Let's say you average 15 kills a game. That means you need to play 121 matches if you don't have any point boosters, 60 matches if you have 2 times the point boosters, and 30 matches for 4 times the point boosters. I managed to finish in about 2 or 3 hours, but if you have no point boosting items, it will take at least a day, or if you play non-stop an average of 15 stable kills every round, it's 8 straight hours. I suggest waiting until things have calmed down because the first day of the events have the most hype. But if you have any special items to boost points, it should be fine. That's all for now. Thanks for watching guys. I dread out.